on the news tonight, they'll say that there was a march in London against climate change. What they should say is we're not protesting against climate change, we're protesting about a government that does nothing to stop climate change. On the news tonight, they'll say there was a march in London against fracking. What they should say is there was a march in London today to protect our water sources from contamination and our national parks against pollution. On the news tonight, they'll say that there was a march in London that caused inconvenience to motorists. What they should say is there was a march that highlighted the inconvenience to children who are growing up with their lung capacity impaired by up to a third because of motorists spewing out pollution and particulate damage. On the news tonight, they'll say there was a march that called for divestment from fossil fuels that could devalue your pension fund. What they should say is that there's a march today that called for us to stop devaluing our children and our grandchildren's future. Yes. On the news tonight, they'll say there was a march of climate activists who predict the world is heading for catastrophe. What they should say is there was a march of thousands of extraordinary, ordinary people who cared enough to turn up in the pouring rain and to have an optimistic vision of a better, a cleaner, a more just and sustainable world. On the news tonight, they'll say there was a march today that called for an unprecedented change in our economy want far-reaching changes in our industrial strategy and that want it now. And we'll say, you bet, you bet. Unprecedented, rapid, far-reaching change is exactly what the IPCC called for to stop us breaking through 1.5 degrees. We will say that's right. That's why we promised to ban fracking under a Labour government. We'll say that's right, that's why we will end the ban on onshore wind and increase offshore wind by sevenfold. We'll say that's right, that's why a Labour government will create 400,000 new jobs in renewables and energy efficiency. And we'll say that's why it was wrong, so wrong of this government when it asked the Committee on Climate Change to respond to the IPCC report, to then prohibit them from making any changes to the fourth and fifth carbon budget, which sets our emissions limits through to 2032. We will say it's now, now that that change is needed. And the sooner we make it, the better. Rapid, far-reaching, and unprecedented. That's why it's wrong to say there's no point in reducing emissions if the rest of the world don't do the same. It's called leadership. <laughs> Ten years ago, under a Labour government, this country showed that leadership. We introduced the Climate Change Act, the first one in the world that set the groundwork for the Paris Agreement. Ten years on, in Poland next week, the Paris Agreement is at risk. This should be the COP at which countries begin to ratchet up their NDCs, their own emissions reduction targets. Our government should be taking a lead once again, this time on the critical issue of loss and damage. 21, 21 years ago, John Prescott negotiated the Kyoto Protocol. It spoke of our common but differentiated responsibilities. 21 years on, it's time for us to come of age, to flesh out what that phrase actually means. It means we in the UK 
began the Industrial Revolution and the era of coal power. We benefited from the economic wealth it brought us. We were the very first major polluter of our atmosphere and we bear huge responsibility for the climate change that is now afflicting people in poorer countries across the world. It means we must accept our responsibility to help them overcome the problems that we helped to create. Some people would call it karma. I call it justice. If we want to create peace in this world, we have to create justice. And if we want to create justice, we have to live sustainably. Thanks for marching today. Thank you for marching for climate justice, for understanding that a sustainable future is a better future. And when you do watch the news tonight, let's see if they say we were marching against climate change. Or if they understood, we're here marching for a better, a cleaner, a more sustainable future world.